what it do. What it do. First of all, before we go in any further, I want to give a shout out to all the fathers out there. Good ones hey, and bad ones. Hey. Because you are you produce somebody, whether or not you was there for them, you produce somebody. So shout out to all the fathers out there. I took that livid. I took that livid, that high sugar content that junk. Yeah, ho- hopefully y'all had a, a good Father's Day. AI. AI is the resident father on the show. Yeah. Uh, Louisa is a resident mother on the show. Mm. Now I'm just a resident either. Yeah. He's a resident uncle. <laughs> I'm a resident so uncle. Happy but, but, Day to you. but you know what though? I'm also the resident forty year old on the show, right? Yeah. Now. Right, you know, congratulations. I'm the resident forty year old. That's an accomplishment. That's so, great. so 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 tomorrow's my birthday and I'm I am so happy. I'm so blessed. You know, my my parents came up from Fayetteville, oh, yeah. Georgia. Um, my first cousins came up from Mobile, yeah. Alabama. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm blessed to have my family to help me. Hey, listen, me and your father got some business to handle after this. We're gonna move some furniture. <laughs> Keep talking about Alabama. Keep talking about Alabama. We're going to have to move right, some furniture right. in this. I'm afraid, though. He look, look, look kind of tough over there. Yeah, he, he, you hear me? He got, he got the old man's strength. Country man strong. Y'all don't play with the country man. They strong. Mess with the country What man. I tell you, you young punk? <laughs> <laughs> what I tell you? Yeah, but no. But no. Thank you for tuning in again. Happy Father's Day for everybody out there. You know, hope y'all had a great weekend. For everybody had them Juneteenth cookouts this past weekend. You know, I went to one. You know, it was good. The family came to it. Had a good time. And, uh, and yeah, you know, um, Red, how, how was your how was your weekend? Uh, flat, fast, as always. Aren't they always? Only thing I did, I don't remember what I did Saturday. Oh, I went to a business training Saturday. And then um, Sunday, I went to the pool, to the kids to the pool. And if you don't know, Louise is going to start her own line of dildos. Yes, <laughs> she is. You starting already? Already. We haven't already. got to the topic yes. yet. We haven't got to yes, I got you. Right. My turn. Hey, y'all, hey, how, <laughs> hey, how was your weekend? <laughs> oh, my weekend was cool. <laughs> hey, weekend? look, 20 years out of high school, young. I made it. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, really? And that grandpa, old, them dude. yellow this jackets, old, you dig what I'm saying? Really, really. Yeah, the, blue, right. the, 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 the uh, black and gold proudly. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it was mm. fun. It was real fun. You know what? I didn't even go to my 10 year or my 20th. For real? You didn't? No. Why, bro? You know, in and out of the country. You know, okay, trying try okay, to get straight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just a lot of transition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I dig but, yeah. that. But, uh, and had no time for no friends. You dig what I'm saying? No time. No. Shout hey. out to b- both my high schools, Rafa High School and uh, Pearl City, Hawaii. And shout out to Fayette County High School out there in Fayetteville, Georgia. Dig it. Right, yeah, so. I went to two high I went. To, I didn't go to my 10 year, but I did go to my 15 year. And a lot of the people I knew, they weren't there, but... Because I spoke to everybody and I was always doing different things. I knew a lot of faces, not a lot of names, but everybody knew my name for some reason. Hmm. I wonder like, why, Louisa. Because I speak to everybody. You're damn near seven feet tall. <laughs> Your wife is, I, I don't know what. You make me look dark skinned. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. I'm telling you, like, you, you like hey, yeah. <laughs> don't hate. And so, at, you know, we was in there and I was talking to everybody and I got, you know, I'm, I, I love music, I'm a dancer. So, I ended up leaving them and went to the other side of um, what you call them, dance with other people. I was, mm-hmm. Yeah, it was good. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. So they just want to sit there and eat. So I'll tell you something that is predominantly uh, in schools, you know, and I didn't know this, and AI is going to expand on this a little more. Yes, I had no idea that dodgeball uh, was a form of bullying. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be technical. Hold on, hold on, and hold on. I, Keep I, that picture right there. Keep that picture right there. There's I a had, key. Key person in that picture. Go ahead, bro. I'm listening. Dude, do you know how many times I done smashed people in the faces? Yeah, because you were bullied. You know how many times I got hit in the ribs? <laughs> you I did not, I did not feel bullied. When you I got hit feel the, bullied? When I got hit in my ribs, I didn't feel bullied. Only the strong survive. Only the, the strong dogs. survive. Uh, yeah, you up. have to be very <laughs> strong or know how to hide behind people. Because the yeah. hurt. But the craziest thing about this article is that they are saying that it is oppressive and dehumanizes people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if you look at this picture right here, there's a guy in the very front that's taking this shit a little too seriously. <laughs> with the yo, green yo, ball. Look at his nose. Look at his ball. mouth. is tight. Dude, my, my dude. His Nikes are to the no. <laughs> no, the, pan with over the green to the, ball to the right. Pan over to the right. The one in the middle. No, the one no. In the, with the green ball. No. Yes. Him. That one. <laughs> look at this uh-huh. dude. Look at all the kids in the background looking like I know he he's not about to do that. He about to mess Marty. But those Yo. are adults that's yeah, playing right now. Yeah, the children, but, though. Oh. You know no, 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 Igor. Zoom over to the left a little bit. Zoom to the left a little bit, Igor. In this picture. Now zoom in. Zoom in. Look at my man in the middle. My man got that 
that that that oh, Wu Tang Clan <laughs> concentration. The force is strong with this one. Like he ready to impress somebody. And the one somebody. in the back scared. See, that's uh, the yeah. one that hide behind everybody. So right. so so so. Hey, mm-hmm. why, why is or when did dodgeball become so oppressive? Because I, you know, look, that's one thing. That's one of the sports you play around the world. We play that in Germany. It's a rites of passage sport. You know what I'm you well, first and foremost, basketball. this article, and the reason why it seems to be oppressive is because it comes from good old Canada. Mm. Oh, I mean, Canada. I mean, I, you know, other than the '90s Blue Jays and Drake soft ass, <laughs> Drake. Then we have too much. Uh, then we have too much to, 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 to you know, to celebrate. So I, I guess, bro, the way they paint Canada, I thought that they would like go hard Timberwolf type people. You know what I'm saying? Beards and They're stuff. But tiny. they must be the friendliest people They're in the world to look tiny. at dodgeball and be like, that's oppressive. You got to get rid of it, eh? You got to get rid of it, eh? <laughs> that guy talk too. That it's, getting, talk. it's getting sickening, bro. It's, it's really getting sickening with all the stuff well, that they keep taking away from the children, man. Look, these are life learned lessons. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You learn these things about how to dodge bullets, I guess. Look, <laughs> if, you, if you don't want to get hit, <laughs> this move out the one black sport in America. What is it? What dive, do? duck, do? <laughs> dip, dive, and dodge. But you know what? I mean, that made. What was the name of that movie? Do, do, dodge ball. Dodge ball. Did y'all see yeah. that movie? I mean, do, dodge ball can be. A representation of society itself. If you don't want to find stuff in this is what you don't want to be in, duck, dive, dive. Yep. Or if you do find some situation, you gotta retell it. You gotta set it for yourself. Correct. You can't, you can't, you can't shriek. But again, you know, again, the '92 Blue Jays and now Toronto Raptors. Oh my what, God. What does Ken, and look? Drake already made a four album. Oh, I'm pretty okay, sure. Raise, it's a racket dedication. No. He, are, he already made four albums already. Be emos and mugs. <laughs> Raise your emo. hand if you remember that. Sound. It's, it wasn't a ping, but it was a yes. bounce oh, you sound. That target? Oh, you were that no, I was, I'm not a target, but I had oh, been hit with the ball. You and guaranteed, person. it was retaliated. You got to keep your head on the swivel, chat. Man, <laughs> look, my head too big to be swiveling. Who is okay. you? I, my head is you. <laughs> Bob and Weed. Uh, oh, Bob and Weed. <laughs> I had been hitting the head in the face right <laughs> here, and that sound, and I was like. And I'm pretty sure that, that dodgeball mark was on your face for like a year. Mm-hmm. So, Because so, you're so icy. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm reading the article, right? And it says, I quote, when you're setting up the environment for students to learn and you introduce the idea that it's okay to slam the ball at whomever you like, even if it's with a softball, the intention is there. Okay, so it's now, like... Now, 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 who walks around outside of school with a ball just playing to hit people in the head with? Uh, That's only doing gym. <laughs> Me? And who's the boy? Well, well, you like skin, so... I like revenge. <laughs> I like revenge. But I mean, they actually had the nerve to say <laughs> that this right here sets people up for failure. It's, it's a sport. You know, we don't believe, I, I think it's safe to say that here on this panel, we don't believe in participation trophies, right? No. You earn, no. you know what I'm saying? You keep what you earn. But so I think, ball, I think they're does. coming from the aspect of, you know, you have to pick teams, and then the pre- people that get picked, te- uh, picked last or the coach put them on teams feel bad because they felt like they weren't but adequate that's, that's enough. That's life, though. To, that's life. Like, I you, know, but you, you know, job, they, you they're looking at right? you the, mental, the, 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 the mental aspect of it, how you feel like you're not adequate enough. Man, or, look, these kids are some punks. These well, days. I mean, because we protect them from a lot of things, and that's kind of our fault. Cause we didn't get protected. Kind of who's Shh. fault? Cause I ain't my kids don't get that type of privilege. Well, you just get your butt whipped. Look, you look, look, I, I grew up, I, I grew up in a household. You better fight back. Yeah, you better do yeah, some pushing. Yeah, fight I did back. too. <laughs> I did too. We went outside. If you, I have tiger marks going from the bottom of my stomach up because I was outside playing. Me and my sister used to climb fences. We used to climb trees. I jumped off a two story building with me cousin. I mean, we did it all. And that, no, we was having fun. We went outside, and my mother, me and my sister ran the house because somebody shook the gate, and you know the gates with the spikes, mm-hmm. and we slid, and, and it went them? right up from the bottom to the top. My so. mother, I'm going to take you out of the hospital. No, I'm going to go back outside. She put something on it, and we were gone. But your mother was bullied, though. Your mother was bullied. My mother was, was not yo, bullied. Yo, yo, Vicky sees Hi, Mom. Vicky. <laughs> How you doing? Yo, yo, Vicky C's is a ninja. Yeah. All right. <laughs> my, mother, my mother was not see, like that. See, you know she was there. She's, she's not she's a, a ninja. She's we a don't ninja. call that you know a, ninja. a ninja. We call that a creep, okay? <laughs> Anytime you can walk on wood and not make no noise, you're a creep. <laughs> she be outside of people's windows, creeping. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, she do have them skills, but that's yeah. not how she was at the park. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can admit to that, can't you? you can <laughs> I mean. It's all good. You know. Now, speaking of an un- fair advantage, especially when it comes to sports or whatever, oh, right? Yeah. Sure. So, the NCAA has been having a problem with a champion, CC Telfair, who just so happens to be a transgender 
woman mm-hmm. who right. is doing who is running track and field in the women's NCAA tournament. And she has been whooping their butts. I'm talking about breaking women's records left and right. right. You know? Now that is what we call an yeah, unfair that's, advantage. Yeah, that is. That's that is absolutely an unfair advantage. Is I mean, you know what? I, you probably heard about this. There's um, a, a girl out of um, South Africa that's in the elevated levels of testosterone, but she's right. born a woman. Mm-hmm. She was, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I definitely know yeah, what you're talking about. Yeah, but that's She had to go to court, right? She won medals. And I forgot what country it is, but it's South Africa. It's but South what Africa. countries? Okay, South Africa okay. decided to strip her of these medals. Now, she's a woman. Mm-hmm. It's not her fault she has higher levels of testosterone. She had to go back to court to sue to get her medals back. Now, clearly, this is a, a different story right here because your, 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 your muscle density, mm-hmm. your bone density, because before they first transition, they had the muscles, bone you know, structure mm-hmm. of, of a man. So, if going back to dogs, well, right? So, if you are a parent, <laughs> what do you tell? Because you, you, tell, you tell your children to do the best you can. But how do you tell your child that you can clearly see has another disadvantage? How do you tell your child just go out and do the best you can? Well, I'll tell you what. We have a video on that. Can you run the uh, video, Eagle? Yeah, I want to see this, man. What does that feel like? What was that experience like for you? Um, it, was, it was a very like, powerful moment. Um, I really wanted to make my coach proud, and I knew that going into the finals, I, I, like, I was pretty strong in it. Um, but it felt pretty like powerful and empowering and and just free for as far as my teammates and coaches uh like i said before they they all opened up to me and they were like we've been waiting for this since freshman year like you were never that person like we when you introduced yourself as uh the person that you were before we were we were like okay we'll go with it it's new we'll go with it so they when i you know finally this is not buying a new purse this is not buying a new car you know what i'm saying what's new like as, we're happy for you we're here for you um they supported me 100 percent um all the way um so it was kind of surprising at the same time because i was ready I, you know i had my guards up and i was ready to fight back like full blown but to be like immediately welcome with open harm arms was like uh, was, all right eagle i mean you know what we're done with this we, we, okay, we live yeah. in a society right now uh-huh. where i mean discrimination is all around Mm-hmm. Right. So if you tell her or tell her, CC, mm-hmm. yeah. that that person cannot participate, then you open yourself up for a lawsuit. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So, But at the same time, it's yeah. still an unfair advantage. No, it is. And the only. You, you, you see how she body. mentioned it's surprising. The only surprise people are going to get is when her balls fall out, when she, when she <laughs> runs the ball. That's the only I surprise mean, they're going to I mean, like I said, I mean, she, she, she still has a man. Everybody body. wants to say it, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> That's the only jack in the box she got right there. Mm, this is no surprise. Anyway, um, you remember, remember um, Miss Man from the first scary movie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. But well, see, yeah. y'all got to remember, um, <coughs> this is not his first rape. But um, he was what when he competed? Well, when she competed as a get man. Right, get it right. <laughs> get it right. Get it right. Look, we don't want nobody coming for us on live in the corner. All right, get it right. When she was a man before the transition, she was like, what was it? Like a hundred. She was subpar. Yeah, it was, it was in the men's division. She, she never she played. Was she wasn't good. even in the top 200 yeah, in the country. Yeah, she wasn't good. And so wow. then she transitioned and came, came into the women's division. And that is unfair because men are built to be fast. They have the muscles. They have everything. Not saying that we aren't because we are. We are fast too. But men have the testosterone. They have the build. They have the smaller legs. Mm. You guys are fast. Well, that's what I'm saying. The bone density and so, Yeah, you different. guys are built that mm-hmm. way. And so, of course, she's going to be faster. She because killed. she was born to be faster. <laughs> she killed me when she said if she, if she it felt powerful. Of course, of course you feel powerful. You built like a stallion. <laughs> you know Mr. what? Black you know like stallion. You know, if, Mr. Edge. If, 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 if that was you, that statement in power, you hear women say that a lot. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, particularly in the workforce with you know natural hair. Right. It, it's empowering to be able to. Rock your natural hair. Damn right. right. I right. my bush every chance I get. Other right. than this person just being a champion. Because being a champion, yes, it is powerful. I play mm-hmm. sports. Me win, it feels good. Mm-hmm. It ain't like this person is like, here, you know, here, you know, here, it's tough enough. A very you know unfair, it was a very <laughs> unfair oh, 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 disadvantage. So, 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 I, so, other than being a champion, because you, 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 while you were a man, you could cut it. Yeah. 
But see, now, this is now when, you feel empowered. But okay, so you know this man? is when the games like dodgeball. This is when certain games Separates become the boys oh, and the men, would, exactly. Or the men I would and the women. target or whatever him it is. for right. her they purpose. Right. I would just target her just because. Correct. Correct. Yeah. But the point is, is that this is where all this stems from. Is that running clipper? Up. True. You, I over. guess, I guess gender fluidity is okay. I, I, I get, you know, I get it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But in sports. Everybody that gets caught with PEDs, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Performance enhancing drugs for everybody that's no, out there. No. People that take a substantial amount of testosterone in baseball, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you did. They they are getting shut down. Mm-hmm. HGH, they help you know, grow it's back. Exactly. Uh-huh. She is naturally born and we with have, all that. We with have people. That exactly. With all in that. our body all already. That. So it gets ridiculous. I mean, it really so, gets ridiculous. So, so now, now this, this is a, a slippery slope. It is because, because and you got to kind of tiptoe fluidity, a little like, bit like you said. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, Charlize Theron. Right. As kids, right. they don't know what they are Correct. because she bleeds in and gender fluidity. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. All right. So now, yeah. when you do sign up for sports mm-hmm. or, or physical activities, I know you. I know you mentioned one time when my father actually called in. Yeah. You know, um, the military mm-hmm. when it came for you know uh, transgenders. Yeah. And you said something about you know the recovery time. Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and don't want to burst stitches. Why you out there on the battlefield? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, clearly this is not the same case. So the slippery slope is when the flu- gender fluidity don't take place, or does it? When does it exist? No, it, no, no, no. It no. exists when men can get pap smears. <laughs> Man, I mean, you dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It exists when they spread them legs mm-hmm. and them, 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 <laughs> them things go up in them. You hear me? That's okay. when it. I think that's when it truly counts. So, you know what so, I'm so if you're okay, now if you're an athlete. Mm-hmm. And you see this person on the team, right? What's your alternative? I mean, you could try to, you know, lift more weight, try to get faster. Now, do you do a HGH? That depends. Uh, unfortunately, it is going to push women's track and field yeah, to and a whole new level. Unfair. They're going to take more risk yeah. in order and, to. And a lot of people yeah. are going to be hurt. Do you take the creatine catch up to or something? This, like, what do you do to this woman who you, who was born a man? It's unfair. Mm-hmm. It's unfair. And, and, and it, let me know. You know, we we are, we very. You know LGBT. Oh, we have up here no the show. problem. So we're not. Just but uh, so Mark, yeah, look, that's not look, the this, point this, this, this in this situation. This, this the topic point is, is like, what do you do? Common sense. <laughs> and common if you're gonna sense. go that hard, make sure you don't get the Bruce Jenner package. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. Okay. <laughs> Don't they make better ones? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I don't, I, yo, I don't know who is on his feet. Hold up. <laughs> I've seen. Damn. Women, look, I've seen women with bad feet. Feet look better than his feet. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Okay. <laughs> Confuse me at least. Uh, see, I know who you are, on, CC. Y'all. I know who you are. <laughs> but with that being said, we, we're gonna go to a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna have a performance by. This is Vision's very own interns. Yes, indeed. You know what I'm saying? Clap yes, up for them. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? Very talented. So we've been a couple minutes live from the corner. Facebook, <laughs> keep watching. Indeed. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. If you guys can clap one time, like one, two, two, hey. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Keep it going. Yeah. Uh. Enough all that sad boy shit. Hopping on the ground with that bad boy shit. Skinny boy carrying the weight of the world. Ironically, well, I don't lift. But I still yell from the rooftops, yeah, yeah. Mama, we made it. Who? Wait, me and Wind Gang, cause we exhale when we exhale. Get it? Now I'm cutting that green like lettuce. I guess I'm an omnivore. Reached another level that I wasn't on before. But I stretch for the stars and my arms are sore. Sipping on a beach with a lemon lime. Killing these bars once at a time. Hitting punch lines of a sunshine, y'all can identify. So put me under street lights, then pass me on the road. Flash them dirty looks, you know I keep on driving slow Cause we got nowhere to be, got no one to look for I can tell we need a break, so I'ma stop Thank you Put your hands together one more time. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. So introduce you yourselves, Short man. Short and sweet. Yeah, Th thank you, guys. I'm Nemesis. An thank you so much for having us. Man, thank you for thank performing. You for Appreciate this a lot. Uh, I'm Nemesis Andrew. And I'm Wynn. Aye. <laughs> Yo, who, who knew that somebody rocking a Seinfeld t-shirt could be so dope on the mic? Seinfeld was cool. That was dope. a cool show. So let me thank tell you, you something real quick. When, when AI and I first came to Listen Vision and met with Jeremy, there was, you know, some interns. I thought it was interns here. Yeah. Very talented, you know, artists. And you all just, you know, are, are more in succession of the talented, you know, interns that work here. Because when you have interns, you don't really know about the talent outside of work. Yep. You are really yeah. talented. I know AI, he read about you two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. We didn't, we didn't have a show uh, last Monday. He's like, we got to have you all on. Yes. And so we are so blessed to have you all presence here. You know, I'm pretty sure y'all probably don't get a chance to step in front of the mic that too often not, here in the division. Not too Well, you're family now, so anytime, yeah, like I said family. before, man, anytime you want to come on, you want to yeah. unveil some new music, you just want to open up the show, man, and do some acoustic, or you just want to flow, yeah. man, just give us something different. For sure. Let's do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. No, let's, let's keep it young. Yes, indeed, yeah. man. So listen, man, everybody out there is always going to want to know the inevitable question, where are you guys from? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm originally from New York City. Okay. Um, but I moved to uh, I moved to Virginia when I was about five. Okay. You know, from my dad's work, and I've lived in Virginia ever since. Mm -hmm. My man, my man. I was born in Tokyo, Japan, but my parents are of Chinese descent, and mm. I moved to Yorktown, Virginia, which is right next to Newport News, Virginia Beach. I'm hip. I was stationed there. Seven there. cities oh, area. Oh, yeah, okay. Fort Eustis. Right. Yep. 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 Four years down there, man. Yes, indeed. So, I, starting with you, Andrew. Yes. Um, uh, how did you get started? How, I mean, what made you feel like you had that talent? To flow, how, where did you get that confidence from? Where did it, you know? Um, my dad always pushed me to play music when I was a kid. Okay. And so that just kind of stuck with me. And then as you know, as the times changed and everything, rap became more prevalent mm -hmm. and more uh, more popular. 
and I just I I I got a knack for it, and mm. I just I love doing it every single day. I just fell in love with it, kind of thing. Them New York roots. Yeah, kind uh -huh. of. Yeah. That yeah. b boy yeah. thing. Yeah, that Biggie Smalls type. Oh, thing. I was gonna <laughs> ask you. So, uh, how do you? All right, so oh, what, what were your yeah, musical impressions? Any genre, doesn't matter, growing up. Who did I listen to? Yeah, any, any genre, doesn't matter. Well, it really ranged anywhere from like, because my dad played a lot of U2, and he played a lot of like not, classical. Not a bad band, actually, so. Yeah, he played a lot of like Guns N' Roses and stuff. Guns N' Roses, I'm, though. Yeah. I, yeah, I honestly grew up listening to a lot of like Kendrick, a lot of Section 80. Um, yeah, no problem. A lot of Logic, to be honest, when I first started mm, rapping, yeah, and then yeah. kind of gravitated into like J. Cole and stuff like that. Dig and, it. Um, Definitely Mac Miller, R.I.P. So R.I.P. Definitely, Mac bro. Yeah. Definitely, so bro. Sad, you got some mature, uh, mature uh, bars, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, really when, when, man? So you out there on an the acoustic? How long you been uh, dabbling in music? Uh, I don't know. I've had a guitar in my hands ever since I was born. As wow. As I know. wow, bro. We want to yeah. see the baby pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ask Cece for her baby pictures, too. <laughs> Matter of fact, y'all need to start asking for baby pictures from now on. APB. We ain't had the, the Fisher Price uh, joint. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, what are y'all in school for? I go to Belmont University mm -hmm. for music business and a minor in production. Okay. Dope. Yeah. I go to Virginia Tech good. for music Locked technology. Uh oh, V Tech. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Music, so, music is pretty much life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So no, I backup plans. <laughs> no backup plans. No backup plans. No, no did backup plans. Did, did you That's see good. Um, a couple years ago? Uh, Will Smith was on Oprah. I'm not sure if y'all watched Oprah. But he was talking <laughs> about, <laughs> he was talking about, you know, going for it. He said he never had a plan B. Mm -hmm. He said what does plan B takes away the energy he could be putting in his plan mm -hmm. A. Takes that attention from. So completely agree. Yeah, yes, yeah. Right. Right. for sure. I mean, as someone who's always like lived by that code, it it feels wasteful to do anything else except plan A. Got you. Yeah. Got you, bro. Yeah, yeah. And that'll, push you, that that that'll push you yeah, forward. That'll exactly. push you forward because yeah. you have that focus on that one particular thing. That's You'll go places. Then. So, when what, what are your musical influences? Like, I hear a little bit of jazz. I hear the colors. That yeah. you play, man. It's really smooth and mellow, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I listen to like a little bit of everything. So everything from like Anderson Pack, like that mm -hmm. type of rap, mm -hmm. to uh, like XXX Tentacion. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? Mark, um, but also, I really like like old school stuff, like John Coltrane and all. Uh, like, Definitely. Mm -hmm. What you know about Coltrane? Coltrane? Miles Davis. Like yeah, Coltrane. Yeah. 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 You don't do heroin, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Don't yeah. switch up. Yeah. When I listen to stuff like that, I got to do a little heroin. Like, no, that's what I got to get in my jazz mode. Andrew, I wanted to ask, whenever I interview uh, an artist, mm -hmm. and I say artist because somebody rather just, just flows or sings that does both, how do you decide when to sing, when to rap, oh, or when man. to do both? Honestly, we were just talking about it downstairs when we were practicing. Um, yeah, it's just really random and really mm -hmm. kind of spur of the moment. And yeah, we were actually just debating whether or not I was going to sing just now, mm -hmm. and we just kind of winged it and kind of... And no offense, it really, it really just goes with kind of like whatever the vibe is. Yeah, it's kind of like Tourette's syndrome. It's like poetry. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> having to write. It's yeah. like poetry. Yeah, when, when you write, do you write poetry. differently for <laughs> rhyming as opposed to, to singing, or is it all the same? The same way. Do you do you post writing for singing and rhyming the same? Um, it's it, it kind of follows the same routine. It's definitely more spaced out with singing, mm -hmm. whereas like rap, it's it's. More like consistent and like, oh, this is like kind of focused more mm -hmm. on the bars and everything, but the, yeah, when I when I try to write more melodic stuff, I I want to focus on like the melody and how okay. it actually sounds in the context. Dig it, What's dig that, bro, dig that. Now, when got a question for you, bro. All right. Are y'all guys gonna form a band now? Like I've been begging y'all. Like when Yang when was gang this, like, on the way? Chill, right? like, <laughs> chill, gang on chill, the way. Like bro, bro, I barely know this dude, bro. I'm like, but I mean, let's do this. Form, you can form right here on the show. But yeah. that's real. Y'all think about maybe doing a duo or something? I mean, we've been talking about it for a while. Jeremy really wants us, our boss, really wants us to start Win Yang and Gang. Win Yang. Whoa, Win no. Yang Yang. <laughs> Ew. Look, Jer I, I didn't come up with that. Jeremy was come whack up with for that. Jeremy, you know for real, Jeremy. Jeremy, you are a perv, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> no, for those, no, for those that don't know, whenever uh, I talk about... <laughs> That could be flipped in so many different ways. When, whenever we have a topic, whenever oh, we have no. a show, we always talk about we always have like a crazy white person topic. So I always say crazy people not named Jeremy, not named Igor. <laughs> Jeremy not had his own crazy. Now I just say not name Adam. So I wish that white was out there. Y'all be crazy, but not the four I just named. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he is definitely crazy, man. Hey, hey, Jeremy, we gotta work on that, bro. We gotta work on that, man. So how do you write your um, music, your chords, and how do you? Um... Uh, I'm lucky enough to have like attended uh, formal education for that, okay. but um, 
other people can just play by ear, and that's what I like to do a okay. lot of times too. Okay. Just uh, come start with a little simple melodic idea mm-hmm. and expand on that and flesh it out. And how old are you? I'm also 20. Oh, Lord. Hey, yeah. I got shoes older than y'all. <laughs> yeah, hey, look. I picked up I'll the guitar never at 29. I've never seen it again until my shoes. Difficult. A lie. It's, it's never too late though, to bro. start. You know, no, it's Man. never too late. So listen, listen. We usually have people sit in for like subjects, man. So listen. I want to talk about something that's really crazy out here. Okay, uh, speaking uh, of which, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna perform again later on? Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, we're gonna have we're gonna have another right. performance so about then, it. But gonna, you know, pick yeah, our brains yeah. on the topics. Oh, let's do it. Their brain on on on, on, on a, a two topics that we have. Okay, mm-hmm. now we have something out in the open now. Uh, and Eagle, um, it's women using vacuums to end their periods. What? Oh. Yes, they do. Yes, Something they do. is wrong with these girls. What? Take a peek. You said it just hurt. <laughs> it says two young women were hospitalized this week after trying to use a vacuum hose to end their periods early. That's a ball. That's a ball for a fifth one. The women were age 23 and 19, and both went into shock after the method triggered a rush of blood rather than the stop they had hoped for. Yes, indeed. So-called menstrual extraction was first described by feminist activist Lorraine Rothman, of course, Damn, and feminist. Carol Downer in the 70s as a way to perform an at-home abortion before Roe yeah, Let's come on wave. back, Eagle, please. Oh, yeah, that please, let's go. We don't need, to that. Really get we don't need the narration. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm reading because it didn't talk. No, women I, are I, never satisfied. I, Let me just I, tell I, you. I have that. a question. I have a question, right? You know, women, ladies, it's, it's biological, correct? Mm-hmm. Right. So how the hell is a vacuum cleaner going to end that? You know, is, is it the, the flow of blood, or I don't know that can end the cramps or anything. I think that's just like ill education. Like they just didn't. They were just miseducated. people are in such Edu- a their rush. Education failed just, them. Just, just, just <laughs> come on, stupid. This is like the parsley and the garlic and the. Gu- now, Louisa, as a resident medical professor, I mean professor, you know, profession on the show, you know, what's your what's your take on it? <sighs> Have you ever tried it? Hell no. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, double check. So. You never know until you ask. I, I don't, I don't think Let me tell missing. you something. You never know. Oh, if I oh, I admit a lot of my. Y'all stuff. use a whole lot of instruments to get off. It's not it's not far fetched that y'all would try something like that. <laughs> Vicky Secret. Let me tell you something. <laughs> The vacuum cleaner is to clean the flow, okay? I don't need to suck nothing out. The only thing I want down there. Go there. Thank you. The only thing I want sucking uh, something out of is a dude's mouth, not a vacuum cleaner. It has Therefore, I don't want no electronics. (laughs) Yes. I was trying not to. Somebody always got to make me go there, but for real. You, what do you, why? No, no, you didn't fit the variation, but how did these two feminists think that that this hey, first of all be. we need to find out if they've tried it but, but they the, said it started to, to cause an abortion it, is well, it, it, it started, started from okay, okay. Let, yeah, wait, exactly let me let me let me give y'all some history okay when you're pregnant the baby is in the uterus mm-hmm. the uterus is behind mm. the cervix mm. The cervix is behind the vaginal like canal. Let's draw it out. And the vaginal canal <laughs> you want, you want is behind the, the vaginal opening. So you want to stick a vacuum cleaner hose in the vaginal opening to the canal to get up to the cervix. You're not getting when you put the too past on? the cervix. The cervix is, a, is closed. That's so crazy because like, if I was constipated, that would be my next step. <laughs> stick a vacuum in my butthole and just try to get it out. That's the only reason I can see using a vacuum to suck boo boo. Yeah. No, what do you no, what, what do you be watching late night on TV? Like, <laughs> like, 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 bro, like no, what? I used to work at Blue Plains, bro, as a contractor, bro. I used to suck shit with a big vacuum. I think that would work. You didn't do that though, right? I did. No, not for himself. Not for himself. But the big pals. Bro. The city's but the waste. thing is, how the only the, I just don't your your period your menstrual is the relief of the uh, uterine lining. There's no way you want to get the goddamn on hose to your uterus. Well, what happens is, and what the speculation is behind it, is that women figure that uh, it increases the blood flow by thousands. That times. is so stupid. So it should get rid of it. It would speed up the process, but just it'll wait eventually your black days. You out because Let me just, uh, nobody likes their period. Okay, be patient. Everybody wants to rush. Monsters inside me. Everybody just want to rush. Take your time. Look, I'm waiting for my period now. Come on, I want my period. When I was when I was married, what were you doing? 
Before no, where, I wasn't doing. I'm just saying. Where, 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 where have you when been? When I was married, when I was listen. When I was married, when I was married, that was a beautiful sign for me. Okay, that let me oh, know yeah. I was not pregnant. Okay, give me my period. Okay, okay? Yeah. now yeah. I've had surgery. I had my uh, bilateral tube obligation. Whatever's whatever. She's single, everybody. But. What she's trying to say? No accidents. <laughs> we. No, your pull out, your pull out game to be the weakest. <laughs> Connor no, could break, no, you're gonna survive. No, no, no. But, my, but. my body will turn on me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but no, so for me, I, I'd rather <clears throat> just just let it happen. Natural your cleanse body, and just too. stop rushing shit. Y'all and even if you wanted to rush it, like right, there are right. alternatives I mean, that I are understand. much healthier. If you, if what are, what are you rushing for? You want to have sex? Yeah, oh, uh, I, 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 how, how you masturbate? I mean, well, I mean it, come, come take on. Take painkillers. You so literally stupid. do anything. Like, <laughs> that is so stupid. Yo, yo, yo. Our, our why do I, I, you know what? Me. <laughs> when, when just told me there are alternatives. How do you know about that, man? Alternative to what? What you say, now? I, if you want the pain to go away, there are alternatives to a vacuum. Like, you yeah. can take painkillers. You can take medicine. You man. can have oh, sex. Or like if, you do to listen to Coltrane heroin, right? <laughs> 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 right. There, if you have menstrual issues, if you're having cramping, change your diet. That really helps. Drink more water. That really helps. Yes, I'm heavier, but I do a lot of water and I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. My weight is not from that. She's single, everybody. Uh, that was another APB. You know what they say uh, about women and pineapples? <laughs> what? What do they say? We taste delicious. See? Anyway. APB, everybody. Uh, there will be no mess. I wish you stopped oh, no. doing a cotillion for me. Shut oh, my up. fault. I'm telling you. Um, no, but if there are ways, and I learned, you know, I learned this years ago, a man taught me you eat fruits and vegetables especially when you know you're ready to come on fruits and vegetables plenty of water i've always drank water but it changes your your menstrual and it comes and then exercise walk do something there and then you have tampons go swimming do something and if you're horny masturbate <laughs> don't stick the freaking holes up there to try to stop your damn period y'all please i have been so disappointed in the things that women have been doing in the past couple of months, I just don't know what to do. That's a PSA from uh, Please, Ray y'all. Reddit, ladies Please. and gentlemen. Well, we just blew the intern's mind for the year. <laughs> well, y'all need to know because y'all, Sorry. Y'all, 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 whether or not, whichever direction you go in your relationship, you need to know because there's a lot my, of mess going on. Well, my daughter, she has to take birth control because hers are so my soul, irregular. You know my, what I'm my CTO so cool. cousin okay, probably so. heard way more she wanted to hear. Sorry. Oh, sorry, y'all, but you're going to get some info. Yeah. I'm going to your cousin. Oh, you, you know. Your education. You, you, you know. You know. Yeah. Um, you know. So, y'all got to understand. Y'all have to stop. Just let it happen five to seven days. If it's past that, go to the doctor and get it. Get something figured out. Something ain't right. If you're not regular, go to the doctor and get it figured out. Let there your you body go. release and cleanse it. itself. And then go about your business afterwards. I mean, come on. Only use it for constipation, people. <laughs> Don't use it. Amen. <laughs> <That, laughs> works. Fruits and vegetables and plenty of water. I'm pretty sure that, that works too. way better than vaginal <laughs> insertion, okay? No vacuums. No. No in there. x so, for so constipation. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so listen. Animals. This so Nemesis, stop. <laughs> Before we go to the break and set you up for your next song, man, you're going to do a solo this time. Yeah. Tell everybody out there what the name of the song is, man. This song is called uh, New Flex, New Day. All right, now where did you get that inspiration from, huh? I was actually, I was watching um, Anderson Pack's Tiny Desk. Okay, and he yeah. NPR, shout out to NPR, shout yeah. out to yeah. Pac. Yeah, shout out to NPR, and he was talking just about, you know, being new and having somebody new in your life, and new flex, new day, and I just, I wanted to write about that it. That Ventura album, my that man. is a slamming, banging album. If yes, y'all haven't heard is. it, go out gap and support the man, Ventura album. We'll be back in a couple minutes with mm-hmm. Adam again, performing for us. That's with his talent, live from the corner. See y'all in a couple minutes.
All right. Everybody, thanks for tuning in one more again. And right here we have Nemesis Andrew. Yeah. All right. Thank about you, guys. About to show what it's about, bro. Appreciate it. Deuce. Yeah. Yeah. One time. Let's go. I'm I don't want to run it though. I tell them all bad, bad, if they frontin' though. I better take your shots now, cause I'm still alive. Young boy flow, son, I'm like I'm 85. Never heard of him, I ain't fucking heard of him. I bet they would if I rap these bars and Benjamins. Or maybe if I pop bottles or some trap shit. Or maybe if I mop models, now I'm tripping off a lo fi. I'm coming grab another bag where I store rhymes. Yeah, things don't sell like four mine. Your favorite rapper won't be for a pork rind. Maybe it's about time that I put you on display behind the glass case where Kim Kardashian's ass is hard to part ways. So take me to LA, I'm sick of sitting in shade. Instead of throwing Molotovs, pass me a drink, cuz. On to a new flex, new day. Because I'm on to a new flex, new day. Because I'm on to a new flex, new day. Wait, now tell them all to come and get me now. Now tell them all. Now tell them all to come and get me now. Yeah. Yeah. One time. Two. Three. Yeah. Go. This be the master at work. I might take the title Floyd Mayweather your turf Whether I ball like Curry or if I sing a verse This is without a doubt the status that I birth Or just some bullshit rapper A white kid dressed too dapper But shit I've been the man since before Things felt like fans on the sand The war came up from a nightstand nice shit and all the people started rapping And all the people started looking at me like a Jackson But shit, I still got the same jeans I bought from PacSun Shame still got the passion This would be a new flex, new day On to a new wave Pull up to the function, I'm robbing bitches like Bruce Wayne Yeah, I guess I know a few things Get money, let's applaud that Never stall that on to a new flex, new day Because I'm on to a new flex, new day I guess I'm on to a new flex, new day Wait, but tell them all to come and get me now Now tell them all to come and get me now Now tell them all to come and get me now I gotta go, I'm running up when I beat it I wanna get it, I hit it, I gotta get it, go The one time for that two time And I just had to run it back once So we just do it for the tr jump no, we just do it for the go. Let's go. Thank you. You can find me everywhere on uh, Nemesis Andrew on Instagram and Twitter, SoundCloud, anywhere. All right. Just Nemesis Andrew. Gotcha, man. And when? Where can they find you at, bro? At Win Yang Music, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. SoundCloud. <laughs> and? Of course, Breezy, where can they find you at? Yo, you all go find me in Breezy Taylor, B R E A Z Y Taylor, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Uh, you catch me here every Monday, 7 8, with my family right here, live on the corner. Red, where can they find you at? Uh, on Facebook at uh, Louisa Harrell, on Instagram and Twitter at Lovely Beautiful Mind 30, and here on Mondays. Right. And of course, you know where you can find me at, at Red Nose 1999 on. Ah! I got brain fart, you know? Red Nose 1999 on IG, and Red Nose 199 on Twitter, and the Red Nose stands for the pit bull, not the clown, and you can find me giving enemas the Ninja Turtles, all right? Y'all be easy, man. It's live from the corner. All right, we out of here.